You know how there's like movies or TV shows or songs or whatever that kind of like define your generation? Like everyone in your age group, you know, they just like know the same things. The OC was on from 2003 to 2007 and I graduated high school in 2006. So for me and my generation or like whatever you want to call it, the OC was a huge deal. I mean, seriously, everyone watched it. Everyone talked about it. Except me, of course, because I was far too busy watching Reboot and Gargoyles over and over again. So here we are some 15 years later. Wow. And it got me wondering, how does the OC stand up now, especially for someone who didn't, you know, watch it back in the day? Well, let's find out, shall we? The show starts off with Ryan, who would eventually go on to fake his own death, change his name, and become Detective James Gordon, but that's another story. For now, he's a young high school kid who gets caught stealing a car with his brother, among a whole bunch of other things. First time in lockup. I'm assuming you don't plan on coming back. Your grades are not great. Suspended twice for fighting truancy three times. Says here you farted during sit-ups in gym class, you hocked a loogie at your English teacher, Mrs. Swanson, and you wussed out of a triple dog dare? Pfft, I'm about to lock you up myself. Are you thinking about college? Come on, help me out here. Give Modern me medicine is advancing to the point where the average human lifespan will be 100. But I read this article which said Social Security is supposed to run out by the year 2025, which means people are going to have to stay in their jobs until they're 80. You know, sometimes these shows have really funny ideas about the future, but the OC is just spot on right here. Anyway, so after this, he goes home, but turns out his home life isn't all that great either. I can't do this anymore, Ryan. I can't. I'm sorry, Mom. I want you out of my house. I want you out. And long story short, his mom kicks him out of the house, her boyfriend tries to beat him up, things are just generally not so good. So he goes to a payphone, man, how old is this show? And calls the lawyer from earlier, who takes him to his house in Orange County, hence the name of the show. That night, Ryan goes out to smoke and meets the next door neighbor, Marissa. Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, man. So, what are you doing here? I stole a car. Crashed it. <laughs> what is happening here? Who is this guy? This guy acts like what we all thought cool was back when we were like, you know, seven. So, what are you doing here? I stole a box of crayons. Foo it away. Wanna play doctor? So the next day, Ryan meets Seth, who apparently plays Atari games on his PS2. Not sure how that works. Hey. Hey. You know, this is one of those things that you see a lot in these older shows. Like, I'm not really sure how it is now, but it always bothered me how, like, they'd have some kid clearly playing a PS2, PS3, Xbox, or, like, whatever, and the sound from the TV is, like, Pac-Man or something? I mean, really, though, we all know that Seth over here, just like the rest of us back in 2003, probably stayed up all night playing Kingdom Hearts trying to figure out the heck that gibberish story is supposed to be about. But anyway, they then go out on the boat that Seth has, I guess, and we learn some very interesting information. Next July, the trade wind shift west, and I want to sail to Tahiti. You won't get lonely? Well, I'll have summer with me. You're gonna take this to Tahiti? No. It's the girl the boat's named after. She must be pretty stoked. Yeah, she has no idea. I've never talked to her before. So let me get this straight, okay? You named a boat after a girl you like, but have never talked to? And I thought I was weird for keeping a girl's stray hair in my pocket for like four years. Anyway, turns out Marissa, the girl next door, she's putting on a fashion show. I think I just realized that this is just like the California version of Gossip Girl, or I guess technically Gossip Girl is the New York version of OC, but, but either way, they're more or less the same show. So after the fashion show's over, Summer, that girl that Seth likes, you know, she invites Ryan to a party, which I'm sure will not lead to any complications later in the episode. Where are you going? My friend Holly, not, well, her parents are letting us use her beach house as a gift, you know, because of all our hard work for charity. If you need a ride or anything, I'm Summer. Anything? Well, I mean, hey, pretty girl like you says the word anything. You know, my mind goes only one place. Gargoyles reboot. Where is it? I mean, everything else is coming back. Come on, Summer, get on it. Ryan and Seth end up going to the party, and Summer's all like, Ooh, Ryan. <laughs> Seth finds out, and would you believe he's not too thrilled about it? What's your name, anyway? Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> um... And here's where everyone learns the shocking truth about Ryan. Seth, 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 You know what? Why don't you just go back to Chino? I'm sure there's a really nice car in the parking lot that you could steal. Chino? 
Anyway, one thing leads to another and Seth starts getting beat up because, you know, why not? Ryan goes out to save him and in turn gets beaten up himself by Marissa's boyfriend. <laughs> Bitch. And this is how it's done in Orange County. But like, you know, I gotta say, okay, high five to whoever the casting director was for this show because they really found the douchiest looking guy. Like, they just hit that straight on. If this show was made today, you know he would totally be decked out head to toe in Supreme. After this, they all go home and Ryan goes out to smoke again. I mean, like, what, is he addicted or something? And finds Marissa completely passed out in front of her house. So he takes her to the pool house to sleep for the night. What a guy, huh? But the next morning, she's gone. And that's where we learn the truth about the whole show. There never was a Marissa or Seth or anyone. The entire episode took place in Ryan's head while he's sitting in a jail cell, wondering what would have happened if he'd just called the lawyer guy that fateful day. Just kidding, but wouldn't that be something? Anyway, Seth's mom thinks that the whole getting into a fight thing was Ryan's fault because, you know, he's from the bad part of town, and kicks him out. But when he goes home, we learn that his mom and her boyfriend or whatever, they just up and moved out and they didn't even tell him where they went. So yeah, this show doesn't really pull any punches, you know what I mean? Like I said earlier, I never actually watched this show when it was on, but I do remember how much everyone else did when I was in high school. And watching it now, I can see why. By today's standards, this show is kind of cheesy and like dumb or whatever, but back in 2003, this was probably pretty scandalous. Come on, rich California kids drinking apple juice and smelling those scratch and sniff stickers? I mean, you better hope mom and dad don't walk in the room, you know what I'm saying? I can see why people liked it back then. Like I said, it's basically just like the proto Gossip Girl, which despite everything, I actually still kind of like. But you know, the OC is still pretty watchable, if a bit over the top about like, you know, everything. This week's video is brought to you by BetterHelp. So, okay, BetterHelp is basically counseling or therapy done online right from your home. They have hundreds of different therapists from like any religion or ethnic background or life experience, like whatever. Like you can choose a therapist that's right for you and you can change anytime. And while of course mental health counseling and therapy services are the main focus, they also have things like marriage counseling, career advice counseling, help for addiction, counseling for family issues, anger management, and so on. It only costs between 35 to like 70 bucks a week with unlimited communication with your therapist. Now compare that to regular therapy, which costs upward of like $300 per session. Not that bad. And get this, if you need help, but you're worried about like money or financial situation, whatever, like they even offer financial assistance for those who qualify. Now I get a lot of messages from people who tell me how my videos have helped them through tough times or, you know, talked them off a ledge, so to speak. And I'm really glad that they resonate with you in that way. But as should be very obvious, I'm not a professional. So if you're having these feelings and you need someone to talk to, or you just need help from a certified professional therapist, click the link in the description and please give BetterHelp a try. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So first thing, I finally got around to fixing the shirt that says the best thing about high school is the fact that it ends. You know, the original version had the word it twice because I'm a genius. Um, so I finally fixed it and put it back up. So for those of you who bought the original version, you know, just think of it as like a limited edition misprint or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, links in description if you want it, support the channel, just get a nice t-shirt, that type of thing. No pressure. So, you know, I just gotta say thank you for 700,000 subscribers. It's just, you know, I say this every time and so maybe some of you are sick of hearing it, but like it just never feels real. I don't know, I made videos for so long and nobody cared and, and then I kind of stopped trying to make what I thought was popular and I just made what I thought was funny and just had fun with it and then all of a sudden everybody showed up, you know, it's like... Like I can barely keep up with how many of you show up now and then, you know, it's, it's very surreal. Um, I'm very grateful for it, but it just, it just feels like... I'm going to wake up any second now, you know what I mean? You know, going back and watching some of these older shows, like, it's so funny to me what we thought was, like, scandalous back in the day, you know? Because, I mean, the OC is 15 years old now from when it started. And, like, by today's standards, it's a pretty normal show. Like, especially in the world of, like, Netflix and Hulu and stuff where, like, anything goes, basically, you know, in the world of Insatiable and all these shows, it's like, the OC is really tame and really cheesy. But, like, at the time, it was, like, this, like, oh, man, don't let your kids watch this show on, like, the local news or whatever, you know? Anyway, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Tell me what was your favorite part or if there's a show or movie you want me to take a look at or just say hi. You know, whatever. Follow my dog Charlie on Instagram, Charlie Meets Pumpkin. Uh, my wife posts there almost every single day, so you just want some cute little cavalier in your life. You know, it's there for you. Above all else, have a great day everybody and I'll see you all next time.